Yo, what's good? You guys have been killing it with the topic ideas and suggestions, so we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it popping. Listen, this one says, awesome advice. I'm so glad I found your channel. You should definitely do a video on how to pitch your music to blogs, playlists, etc. Keep it up with the great content. First of all, I got to say, thank you not just to that person but to all of you guys for just the great topic ideas for you guys supporting the channel we just hit 1500 subscribers <laughs> yeah boy but i couldn't have done it without any of you but they did mention a great point if you're a music artist and you just finished that song if you're a producer and you just finished that beat how in the world are you supposed to submit your stuff to these blogs and these playlists don't be concerned this video is all about that and today we're gonna talk about it but before we do that we got to show love to the sponsors so if you want to learn more about them be sure to check out the links in the description of this video and as always man go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's work salute to that cool so your music's done you're ready to move forward and now we're gonna get into the do's and the don'ts of submitting your stuff for music blogs playlists all that other jazz so if you're ready go ahead and go into the comment section and say I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready all right so the first thing before you do any submitting on your music right make sure that you're submitting to the right blogs and the right playlist many of you guys just are quick to submit your music to all these different blogs and all these different playlists and you haven't done any research you haven't even checked out their playlist to see if the song that you're submitting even fits they might have a high tempo type playlist and your song is slow and you're telling your story and all that other stuff and it doesn't mean that they won't like your music but they're still probably going to reject it because it doesn't fit what they're trying to do same thing with blogs if you don't release the type of jazz the type of pop the type of country music that that said blog is is posting about then why are you submitting you know your music to them and you're wondering why you're getting ignored that's probably why listen do your research because if you think that just sending a mass generic email to a bunch of blogs and playlist curators if you're thinking that that's what's going to help you go forward and push your career and get them to promote your music the likelihood is that it's not going to work there might be a few of them that might you know push your music but the majority probably aren't so again do your research making make sure you're sending your music to the right people Oh, and a side note, don't just submit your music to the biggest outlets. Don't just submit your music or follow playlists or blogs that have a larger number of fans and followers. Don't do that because that 20,000 to 50,000 followers that you think they have, they could be fake. So again, do your research. Make sure that they consistently post that you're seeing engagement on their social media and in their blogs and things like that before you just go submitting because an outlet has a huge following or in your uh, opinion, they're perceived as being super popular. All right, so the next thing that you need to recognize when you're submitting your stuff for music blogs and playlists and things like that is please make sure that you're actually following the site guidelines the playlist guidelines the rules the submission rules all that stuff listen they these these people that have these playlists these these uh managers of these blogs and things like that they have so many musicians so many singers so many rappers uh producers sending them stuff that often they ignore emails by people that do not follow the instructions most of these sites when you go on them they have particular submission guidelines where they tell you how you name your okay sorry i had to pause a fly just flew in the middle of my video listen this is a mike sars video not a mike pence video somebody better tell this fly to get out of here anyway before we got distracted before we got distracted listen as i was saying many of these curators have tons of submissions tons of submissions so the question is why are you just ignoring when they've told you what to do they're literally saying hey if you want your music promoted if you want us to to show love to you follow these submission guidelines but there's so many artists that just ignore it and they let you know hey if it's an album your the title of your email the subject of your email needs to be this if it's a song it needs to be this if you want promotion for a music video it needs to be this they literally tell you everything you need to know but artists oftentimes we get hard-headed and we ignore the rules we ignore the guidelines so do not ignore these guidelines that these curators and these people set for you now another thing that i would put in there 
don't get discouraged a lot of times especially for the bigger blogs and the bigger playlists that you're submitting to they are going to have tons of people submitting to them so there are going to be times where often you get a super super delayed response to that email or that dm or whatever it is and in a lot of cases most cases you may not even get a response and that's okay don't get discouraged if anything just keep paying attention because there are often times and it's happened to me where they did promote my song or they did um you know do a, a review on something that i did or a video or a performance or whatever it was and they just didn't tag me in it or they didn't respond to an email but because i kept up with their social media or whatever it might be i noticed like oh snap that's me like okay so they did do it so please don't get discouraged if at first they don't contact you back or you don't get a follow-up email or whatever it is just be patient another tip when submitting to blogs make sure that you submit your stuff at least minimum four to six weeks before the song drops yeah you heard me i said before the song drops right now with smaller blogs it's not as big of a deal because generally they're able to get to you quicker and things like that uh the blogs that no one really knows about the ones that might have you know below 500 followers on the social media things like that but the bigger ones they want new music they don't want music that you released a year ago or two years ago they want that hotness they want that newness right so if you are submitting make sure that you knowing they have tons of other artists submitting to them make sure you submit it weeks in advance and i said for minimum you probably need to send it sooner right because hopefully if you're a legit music artist you're not just finishing a song and then dropping it in a week. Hopefully you're planning, you know, with marketing and a promo plan and all that other stuff. Right? You know what really grinds my gears? Okay, so the next thing when it comes to submitting your music for these blogs and these playlists, do your part. Do your part. What I mean is you need to have the prime three ready. It's what I call the prime three. What is the prime three? It is your bio. It is the music and it is a photo. These three things you need to have ready to go before you start submitting anything because these are the three things that are most likely gonna get asked in that submission process. Now let's dive into them individually. The first thing I'm not gonna harp on, which is the bio. Listen, this is something that if they don't know who you are, they might wanna get a little bit of backstory of who you are and you already need to have a bio. If you're someone that does not have a bio by now, I don't really know what to tell you except be sure to check out my video where I teach you how to write your own bio in less than 10 minutes. That video is fire. The next thing is a high quality photo. You need to have a high quality photo because, you know, first impression is everything. And you don't want to be looking raggedy. You don't want to be looking crazy. You don't want to be using that picture of you in the bathroom with the mirror and all that other stuff. You do not want that. That's corny regardless of what genre you're, genre you're in. You feel me? So make sure that you have a high quality photo. I don't care if you got to use your homie or your friend's iPhone and tell them to take a picture of you in a, some random park or whatever it is just make sure it's high quality and number three on that is the music links to your music now listen this is something i need to talk to you about this is something i need to talk to you about artists stop sending these uh these playlists and these blogs just a, a, a blanket generic link to your spotify or your soundcloud or whatever and this is why i say that do not allow them to choose what song you take your best song your best two or three songs and you send them the links to those songs individually because if you just send me a link to your spotify i might click on any song it could be a song from six years ago i might just hit shuffle and it might be a song that's that's longer than that or older than that or a song you're like mm, that's not really my best so that's not the fan favorite you want to present them your best stuff so send them a link to the, your best music or at the very least make a playlist and have your best songs at the top and then send them the link to that playlist so you know what song specifically they're going to listen to when they press play but do not just send them a generic link to your music you are setting yourself up for failure but your boy sars got you i promise you i got you so make sure the prime three are ready do your part to make sure that you set yourself up for success okay so this is going to be the last thing that i say on this artists producers whoever you are please stop expecting people to show you love and to share your music and to do reviews on your music and share it on their social media and all this other stuff stop expecting them to do it to do it for free 
yeah i know that hurts i know that hurts especially in the climate that we're in in the world and i know some people don't have they're not getting a lot of hours at the job and they you already may not have that much money for your for for your music and all this other stuff but the truth is guys you have to invest in every single thing that you do when it comes to your career you do now will smaller blogs is it is it common for them to just promote you yeah it's pretty common but the bigger blogs it is rare that you see a bigger blog just promote your stuff for free even if they like your music right because the fact of the matter is they're getting so many submissions so many people are feel entitled that hey you should put my music on your your site but why let's be honest guys why should they put your music on their site over other artists that may be just as talented as you what makes you different right and you have to take that into account they're getting hundreds of submissions not a month a day so again do not expect everything to be for free now for those of you that have been kind of struggling with this when it comes to uh submitting your music with blogs and things like that and you're not even really sure sure who you should be submitting your stuff to i got you i actually have a list built for you yeah, you heard me just for you i have a list of 25 music blogs that you could submit to these are blogs that literally look for music submissions from music artists independent artists from all genres so and this is free this is this isn't a paid thing this is free so if you're interested there is a link in the description of this video be sure to click on that it's 25 music blogs just for you and i just wanted to be able to show you guys some love i know the grind is it's already tough enough but uh again i just want to help you guys out a little bit but was this helpful? Did you guys feel like this video was helpful for you guys? Do you feel like there are other strategies uh, when it comes to music submissions and things like that? If so, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. But anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, then hit that subscribe button so you guys get notified every time I drop a new video. Matter of fact, make sure you hit the bell because I always forget that sometimes. Hit the bell. Anyway, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if there are particular topics you guys want me to talk about, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I do read my comments and I'll get back to y'all later. And as always, man, be you, enjoy your life, and live authentic. Salutes, and I'll catch y'all later.